Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke if you are new here I would love it if you could hit that subscribe button. I post new videos all the time I'm actually posting videos three times a week this summer. So super exciting and Today I actually have a really exciting video as well I have been wanting to do this video for a while because when I was going to college I completely messed up. I brought way too much stuff. I have a ton of videos on it I'll link my college playlist down below. I have videos about the dorm videos about what to bring what not to bring but I never made a video about clothes so today's video is going to be my college clothing slash wardrobe essentials in this video I'm going to walk you guys through things that I think you should definitely bring with you to college definitely like staples that I wear all the time and that I recommend for everybody new coming freshmen returning students whatever you happen to be if you're living in a dorm typically the closet is smaller than your closet at home or just small in general so it's important to pack efficiently pack clothes that you are going to wear for multiple uses and stuff like that give this video a thumbs up if you're interested in seeing more college advice videos I know a lot of you guys are headed to college in the fall so I'm super excited for you guys you're gonna have a blast college is the best also um, just for reference in this video I go to the University of Georgia so the climate is not like a traditional northern climate I don't really need like a super heavy winter coat um, so obviously tweak these things to your need if you go to school in like Texas or California it's obviously going to be more summer pieces or more like warm pieces um, rather than if you go to school in the north you're gonna need more like sweaters and heavy things so let's get started I made a little list first things first is basics what do I mean by basics I mean like your basic white tee black tee a good pair of jeans a good pair of jean shorts um, maybe some skirts or some dresses maybe like a basic white dress black dress things that you can take a variety of different ways so the key to all of the stuff that I have on this list is making it work for multiple uses so you can wear it if you're going out with friends you can wear it to dinner you can wear it to class if you feel that's appropriate um, you can wear it you know to a club meeting um, to an interview like uh, that's just the key here invest in your basics that's a big thing for me um, you know get a nice white tee black tee because you're going to be wearing those forever really get a good pair of jeans Topshop has great jeans that aren't super super expensive in comparison to other jeans I mean jeans are expensive overall also, link some of my favorite t-shirts down below. I really like the Madewell ones. I think they go good for a lot of different uses. Also, next is a rain jacket. I cannot tell you guys the amount of times I got caught in the rain at college. That's why I keep an umbrella in my backpack now, just a little foldable one. Definitely a rain jacket comes in handy a lot. Also, get one. try to get one with the zip so that you don't have to pull it over. Just like a nice zip up one this way. It doesn't have to ruin your outfit. You know, you can just like throw it over. Um, one with a hood obviously is nice feel fairly confident in saying that in most parts of the country or even the world it rains so it's nice to have a raincoat on hand and if you like check the weather before you leave your house and you see it's raining obviously grab that raincoat I also say a warmer coat no matter really what climate you're in I mean unless you're in like Texas or California really um, you don't really need a warmer coat but bring one at least like North Face makes really great ones like a Patagonia I mean I'm naming like brands but it doesn't have to be a brand by any means I'm just giving suggestions a nice warmer coat is good for those days where it is a little bit more chilly and you don't you don't have to wear like a ton of layers underneath it you could just kind of throw on your Next is dress up or down pieces and this is kind of a going back to that theme of like making things work for multiple uses. I have two examples here. I really like these because I feel like you can do a lot of different things with them. So this first one is from Free People. Um, also a big fan of investing like you know it's okay to spend a little more money on pieces like this because you can make this work for a lot of different things. Yeah you can wear this going out like the jean skirt, jean shorts, even just jeans and booties. So cute for going out. But you could also throw a cardigan over it, um, wear it with some darker denim, and you could wear it to a club meeting. I think that like a nice piece like this, and not that this is basic by any means, but this is just like a very versatile thing. So it's good to bring things like this that are versatile. Also, this one is really versatile. This is from Shop Love Street, so it's a little bit more inexpensive. I think I paid like $30 for this. Um, it's just a really cute like tie-up blouse, but I hate saying the word blouse, I'm so sorry. But the sleeves go out into like this bell sleeve, which is really cute. So you can wear like a fun bra light underneath this, wear it out, or you could wear it with darker denim once again and wear it to a club meet. So overall, this is just like an example of pieces that, you know, obviously these have fun patterns, but you can still make them work for different occasions, which is cool because if you plan to be part of like a social scene or even if you want to grab dinner with friends and stuff, it's nice to have pieces that you can dress a little more up, um, even with the help of like jewelry and little things like that. Next is comfy going out shoes. Uh, I watched my friend Katie's video, Hello Katie, and she showed in her room tour like a bin of shoes that she has just for going out. And that is ingenious because when you 
wear shoes going out, whether it be to like a fraternity party or to like a bar or wherever you're really going out, really, even if you're just going to dinners or like going to a friend's house, um, typically shoes just get really beat up in college, like nicer going out. So I don't recommend wearing like nicer going out shoes, just know that they're probably going to get destroyed. So typically each year of college, I designate like a pair to be like my going out shoe. So this was my going out shoe for last year. These are just from Steve Madden. I think I got them at DSW. Uh, they're great, they're super comfy. You want, obviously wanna have comfy shoes for going out too. And you can tell that they clearly got really dirty and stuff. So I don't wear them if I'm going to like something nicer. If I know them going somewhere where they might get a little dirty, these are the shoes I go to. Next is Nike's sneakers or just sneakers in general. I mean, I, I feel like a lot of people wear Nike sneakers but they don't have to be Nike by any means. Just a comfy pair of walking shoes for campus. At University of Georgia, at least, it's a really big walking school. You can take the bus, obviously, but you're gonna have to walk at some point. So definitely comfy shoes for getting to and from class or working out or into that sort of thing. Next is business clothes. Okay, it doesn't need to be super formal, but at least bring one outfit. It doesn't matter what your major is. You can be like a science, education, whatever type of major you are, you're probably going to attend some sort of career fair or conference or something where you're going to need like a nicer business outfit. I brought a bunch of business clothes to school my freshman year just because I had a bunch from high school, like DECA competitions and stuff. And you don't need to bring a ton, just like one nice outfit, maybe like a blazer, some nice pants and a top. Put it in the back of your closet at college and then when you have the special occasions, you can kind of pull it out. Interviews and stuff do pop up and it's more more annoying to like have to shop for it at school than to just like keep it on hand so that's one thing I would recommend that it might not be like an everyday type of wear thing but it's worth it to have it in your closet next is lots of casual clothes um, just in general so Norts and Norts or Nike shorts uh, t-shirts pullovers sweatshirts and like leggings yoga pants at least in my school majority of the people don't dress up for class um, I mean you can totally feel free to like you dress for your own personal style but I feel like when I'm waking up for my 9 a.m. I don't want to put on a super nice outfit if I don't have to so I just throw on some casual clothes go to class come back and then maybe I'll get ready for my day after it who knows big fan of the casual clothes overall once again cater to your personal style but you're gonna need them really no matter what you can go on Pinterest and stuff to find like college outfit inspiration you could probably tell them most people don't dress up it's just a thing next is a small purse for going out it doesn't have to be necessarily for going I keep saying for going out but like in that I mean like being social or going to a meeting or doing anything on top of like your schoolwork so a purse of about this size it's great because it can fit your wallet your keys and stuff I love my Rebecca Minkoffs I think that they're fa fairly priced for what they are but they are a little bit more expensive just this size is really all you need even smaller than this is fine it just needs to fit the essentials obviously if you want to bring you know your makeup or something to touch up with you when you go out that could all fit in this as well but bringing tote bags and stuff out is just such a nuisance because it's so large like I wouldn't want to lug that around so something small and compact like this is nice and last but not least sunglasses to be any specific kind <laughs> Clearly, I like having just a cheap pair in my backpack that I can throw on walking to class and stuff uh, I keep another cheap pair in my car like I like just keeping pairs of sunglasses really everywhere They always come in handy especially on a bright sunny day and um, University of Georgia gets very sunny and bright when it is a hot day so I like having them and that's going to be it for my college clothing essentials I know that there are a ton more that I'm sure you guys will clue me into which is why I would like to start a conversation in the comments about it so please comment down below but your number one if you are in college what your college clothing essential is um, add some help to other students uh, I think that we can create a nice little community here I'll be linking some of my favorite pieces down below as inspiration for you guys just to see what I like and what I recommend I guess I mean I'm going into my junior year and all this is definitely like still stands true so I feel like I'm glad that I'm giving this advice now after two full years of going to college so thanks so much for watching you guys if you want to keep up with my day-to-day -day life besides just posting videos I'm actually going to Spain in a little less than a week so if you want to keep up with me and see my adventures um, follow me on Instagram I'm gonna link that right here well not link but you know I'll put my handle right here and thanks so much for watching you guys I hope I'll see you again in another video later in the week bye <laughs>